No, I'm getting it going. Alright. Okay, there you go. Is it rolling? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so, um... <laughs> Alright, so... I'm 32! <laughs> Can you smell my breath right now? No, I'm not. I'm not smelling it. It's fucking window. acrid. It smells like fucking... Boom! So I'm 32 years old. Got a patina on me. Okay? A little older, a little wiser. May not have the vim and vigor that I once had. However, got a lot more street smarts. Got a lot more EXP. Got a lot more skills. You can't get these skills. These are high level skills. Okay? Taxes. That's one of them. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know? How to deal with running out of gas. That's something that 20 year olds don't know. I know. It's called AAA. And if you don't have AAA, you're out of luck. Um, so anyway, a lot of people, a lot of people ask me for advice. They ask me for life advice. They say, you know, Sam, how can I be more like you? What can I, you know, you seem like you have it so together. You're so, uh, I'm so impressed with how put together you are. <clears throat> how can I basically copy you and emulate you and be your amanuensis and be, uh, your everything become you. This guy, what's wrong with this guy? And I'm like, yo, you gotta follow the steps, the 10 steps to success. Alright, so anyway, seriously, back to serious life advice. Um, I know that some of you guys out there, you basically, when you when it comes to looking for life advice, you basically go on, you go open up an issue of GQ magazine, and you read about 10, 10 great belt buckle belts to buy for under $180 for a belt. Okay, and that's the way you basically go for life advice is you open up GQ or you can do the art of manliness and basically learn how to trim your facial hair and how to tie a bow tie like a boss, um, <clears throat> etc. Okay, so there's some sources out there for advice. Okay, if you don't have a... Uh, uh, if you, if you don't have like sort of, you know, male figure in your life to give you advice. Um, but some of you, I suppose, are sort of alternative and indie and you're a little too cool for that. So you need help. Uh, you need help from the Samster. So here's my advice. Here's my free advice that I'm going to give you. And that's this. Um, sometimes, depending on uh, how, what it's like what the weather's like, what the vibes are like, basically. I basically like to um, pretend like I'm a, uh, pretend like I'm a, what would you call it? A children's toy that came to life in an 80s movie. Does that make sense? Like Chucky, I like to pretend like I'm Chucky, not Chucky, that's the ripoff, obviously. I pretend like I'm some kind of um, <clears throat> children's toy in an 80s movie. Let me just pass this guy and I'll show you what I mean. So I basically... Alright, he's good. Fucking dumbass. Fucking retard. Why bother? Why look over at me? I'm not going to help you wipe your ass, you fucking... So anyway, <clears throat> I like to pretend like I'm a children's toy in an 80s movie, and that looks a little bit like this. Ha 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 
So there you go. Next time you got a big job interview, okay? You don't know whether you need to rent a tuxedo. You got to borrow something out of your dad's closet, you know? You don't know how to tie. How do you, how do you, how do I wear a cummerbund? I don't know. Do I wear wingtip shoes to this event? Is it that formal? Can you wear sunglasses at an outdoors wedding? If so, what style of frames do I wear? You know, dozens of questions. And so basically anytime something like that comes up, you need advice, you need to know what to do. You can just start acting like a animated children's toy from an 80s horror movie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Check in next time. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye! <clears throat> done, done? Yeah.